Sharon, you have to tell our listeners and my viewers, where are we located? Well, we are called the Lost Cajun Kitchen, but we are in Lancaster County. And, you know, when we started out almost uh, coming up on 18, 19 years ago, people said, what are you doing with Cajun food in Lancaster County? And we said, well, we took a wrong turn, we got lost, and we never went back. So it became Prudhomme's Lost Cajun Kitchen. And your name is Prudhomme, so that must mean when people say, ooh, I've heard that name before, it is because you're related. My husband's uncle. I'm the Yankee wife. My husband is the Cajun. Mm -hmm. And he's originally from uh, the Opelousas, uh, Louisiana, Melville area. Mm -hmm. And his uncle is uh, Chef Paul and aunt is Chef Enola uh, Prudhomme's. Now, uh, uh, Cajun food. Uh, I'd like to get into that because uh, there's a question as to, well, uh, Cajun food is hot. Uh, It doesn't necessarily need to be hot, does it? No, you know, it's funny, It's some Cajuns cook hot, some don't, just like Italian food, some is hot, some is not, and, uh, you know, there's different regional uh, uh, styles of cooking that actually years ago stemmed from different uh, families, and, and there's just as if uh, there's uh, maybe four different uh, styles of cooking a, a crawfish etouffee, mm-hmm. and um, unfortunately there's many restaurants up north um, that may have a Cajun item or two on their menu, and unfortunately so many times their version is to dump about a half a pound of cayenne on something it makes it so darn hot that some people that that believe that's true Cajun cooking turns them off and therefore they feel they do not care for Cajun food but uh, true Cajun cooking is really a style of cooking it's 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 uh, it's built up in layers and I think everybody if they give it a shot would fall in love with Cajun cooking uh, here at the restaurant, though, you know, we have we have timid, we have adventurous uh, diners, so we have something for everyone. We always say from Cajun to All-American. And, and the beauty of coming to an independent restaurant is that we cook to order. So should you not care for mushrooms or bell peppers, let your server know. We can eliminate uh, most of, of uh, those items and, and take care of your special needs. Blackened redfish, or blackened fish, uh, <laughs> that doesn't mean it needs to be burned, right? No, and full credit is always given to David's uncle, Chef Paul. Um, but true, true blackening, um, the, this, the seasoning in the outside may sear and, and become dark, but it's just a seasoning. Uh, if you go somewhere and the food is uh, tough as a, an old shoe and it's burned, it is burned, and, and it should be done again. Um, blackening is wonderful, and uh, we're famous for our blackened catfish. And that's one of the, the all-time customer favorites. Mm. Let's talk a little bit about the menu. Uh, what do you have on it? Of course, we've talked to, to about some of it, but let's go through some of the menu items. Well, Dave and I are the two main chefs, and we also like to get fun and creative. Um, locally, and I had asked you before, uh, most people up in this area, they, they've heard of a whoopie pie. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the Mennonites, the Amish, they make And it's actually a, a cake. Uh, it could be... A, chocolate or, or pumpkin nowadays. Uh, matter of fact, they just had someone on uh, the Today Show, uh, somebody made pumpkin, okay. and uh, they have a sweet cream filling, but it's more of a dessert. So we, we with a tongue-in-cheek, we Cajunized it, mm-hmm. and we call it a, a Cajun whoopie pie jake, but it's cornbread on the top, cornbread on the bottom, solid crab in the middle with a side of mushroom sauce. Ooh. And that that's a, an appetizer, but it's an all-time customer favorite. And we like to make things up, so we, we also hand batter dip our onion rings. We buy the big colossal onions, hand and batter dip, set them like a cup, pack them full of crab, top it with pepper jack cheese and broil it, and that's called a crab ring. Um, but our specialty, again, for the, that's those are appetizers. And, of course, um, people have come in here and say, why don't you have mozzarella sticks? Because everybody else has them. So why would you want to have the exact same menu at every restaurant? We like to be, and that I, I always say that's the beauty of going to an independent restaurant. There are people that are creating. It's not all cookie cutter, the same, the same. So it's more fun to go somewhere and try something that you've never seen before, never had before, uh, or maybe it's too difficult uh, to make at home, or you know, just something a little, a little quirky. But um, we do the catfish. We have one I, I was telling you before about the uh, shrimp sunny, mm. and David came up with this one uh, years ago when we first started. And um, uh, we set a mound of crab in the center of the plate, top it with a half a fillet of blackened catfish, ladle crawfish etouffee over top, and then you have a choice of blackened and butterfly or battered up shrimp surrounding the edges, then salad or slaw. And uh, uh, um, an aerial view would, would uh, 
it would look like a sun, and mm -hmm. we did name it uh, a shrimp Sunny. And one of David's cousins is also uh, a chef in Louisiana. His name is Sunny, so of course the the name seemed to fit. Well, now with the two of you working in the kitchen, is, does there ever come a time when you say, "Let's try this new dish," and then you try a little bit, and then David says, ah, "I don't like that. Put something else in," and you actually combine and make a new dish just from working with an old dish? Mm, uh, all the time. We. Uh, one of our biggest uh, customer favorites here are catfish fajitas and uh, in our, our former restaurant we had a courtyard outside and uh, I had taken a break, David had taken a break, lunch was over, had some scraps of blackened catfish laying around, some onions and bell peppers and, and we just took a, a, a six inch tortilla, a little strip of cheese, sauteed onions and bell peppers, some leftover catfish, rolled it up, hit it with a little mushroom sauce and I set it down, it was going to be lunch and phone rang and I went in and a, a friend of ours came up and said wow that looks good and I said I'll go ahead and have it it's a new you know it's just a little thing we made and right then a party of six came in well our friend decided since I was busy and David was busy he would seat them down and and they said oh what's that and he said oh it's one of their new things it's called a catfish fajita <laughs> well when I came out to take the order they said oh we'll all have the new special I said and what would that be and they said catfish fajitas well now it's a, you know a big menu item but um, you know, we, 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 we always say, you know, when you're little and your mother says, don't play with your food, mm -hmm. if you don't play with your food, you don't come up with all kinds of fun little new recipes. Mm -hmm. So we say, play with your food, but listen to your mother. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Well, now, I really like the fact that you, um, because you're making uh, the, the entrees right th here and, and you can help people if they have a, a, an intolerance to something oh, food, and I just leave it out. Yeah. Boy, you know... Every, on a weekly basis now, there, there's, you know, uh, allergic to whey or this or that. So we can really guide them through. Um, we have a children's menu. We have vegetarian. Uh, certain people that are going low carb, we can always steer them. You know, I had to laugh with the big lo low carb deal. Um, you know, uh, and everybody was looking for special menus and special. Well, you know, there's always been low carb choices if you just look at a menu. You know, and if, if something comes with a potato, well, all they have to do is ask, and we can substitute something else, maybe some steamed veg veggies. You know, we can always add something different, and uh, special orders don't upset us. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> well, now, when is the restaurant open? I mean, you, you have special hours? We are open seven days a week, year-round. We do close on major holidays. We feel that that's a family time, so our staff, most of them are parents or grandparents, and we just uh, feel that everybody should be home on a holiday. Uh, but we are normally open seven days a week. We open at 11 o'clock. The only day we don't do lunch is Monday, no Monday lunch. Mm -hmm. Other than that, through the week, we open at 11 a.m., mm -hmm. Sunday as well. And then we have our different specials uh, each day of the week, and we now have live entertainment, one form or another, six days a week. Mm, very good. And I would be remiss if I did not mention the bar, because that is quite a unique area. Tell us about it. Well, the building was actually built in 1853, and... Um, has always been a hotel. Matter of fact, uh, we do have tenants upstairs, but long term only, so we don't take reservations or <laughs> nightly guests. But um, the hotel has actually been in continual operation since 1853. Downstairs, there was a, a two year um, close time, and that's mm -hmm. when we came in and uh, found the place and, and fell in love with it. But the bar is unique. It uh, We do have a mug club, our own mug club, which hangs. Everybody has their name or nickname engraved on the mug with our logo and there's special deals they have if they're in the club. And then there's uh, Wilton Armatel uh, mugs that surround the entire bar that were here when we bought the building. And that was the old former mug club. Mm -hmm. um, many are deceased, many are still uh, alive, and some of them now have a new mug with us. But um, the bar is unique. It, we have a lot of uh, handcrafted, hand-carved oak. Um, it has changed drastically over the years from some of the different owners. But um, some of the original uh, carved dental work and the original uh, oak drawers and the little Rothschild uh, brass uh, are still intact. Mm, very good. If people want more information about the restaurant, where can they get that? Well, they can, they can Google because a, a gazillion things come up. Yeah. But www lostcajunkitchen.com and that, that'll take them right to the website. 